this day. What a day. What have I got to do tonight? What do I want to do tonight? Hmm. I should probably watch Miranda. Yeah. Pretty funny, huh? Who likes her? The queen of comedy. <laughs> what is there? What is there? I really don't see much point of too much tonight. But what can I do? Hmm. I wonder if there's still much use left in them. I mean, there's still some creations I could try. But what should I decide on? Build a layout? Review something? What piques my interest? Rem remakes or something? Which engine? Hmm. Not sure about him. Maybe not her. Has this Billy gang died already? I guess. Hmm, only saw a review on this today. Probably not sure. Too weird. Countless re times, I guess. Well, who's reminded me to subscribe to every channel I ever come across? Well, I don't know, probably him. Too popular for a pannier tank. Too popular for me to review? Is it too hard to do this one? Hmm, maybe look in that box. Alright then. Which one? What's a good one? Hmm. Oh. She hasn't been around for so long. Hmm. I don't think this is a bad character to review. Better get on to it then. Greetings, my fellow audiences. It is my good friend, JB, or as you like to call me now, JB's 9F Evening Star Emporium. Yeah, I'll fix that in the description later. But anyways, here tonight I'm going to be talking with a, another review on a wooden character. A character from the wooden railway range. And it's, here she comes, Molly. Seriously, is this another adventure begins thing? No. Anyways, moving on. So now for the static details on this yellow fellow engine. Molly was introduced into the Series 9 episode, Molly's Special Special, fully completely, though she did appear in the... Her first actual appearance was Thomas's Milkshake Muddle, though she wasn't named until Molly's Special Special. So, when she first came to Sodor, Emily made fun of her for having to haul empties for coal and plant, which upset her, really. So I bring her here? So if this was here, Emily trying to nap her too much, I'd say... I would imagine another engine stood up for Molly, like Coco, for instance, though he wasn't seen to uh, after Series 5. Though his last appearance was double teething troubles, but I wouldn't really get make up my ways just yet. Thomas eventually came up, coming up with an idea to make her truck special by putting tarpaulins and lanterns around them. However, later, they revealed to be empty. She ran away quite embarrassed, though. However, he soon found her and learned that the engines at the depot needed coal. And Gordon was the laugh, her last laugh, the boy who had to wait at the crossing because she wanted to show how important it was by letting her cross first. And the last time we saw her was in the Great Discovery movie, which, I don't know, but after season 11 was her very last appearance. 
and we never get to see Molly after that. So, where is Molly now? Is she on Sodor? Did she leave? I don't know. Back to the details. So Molly is based on a Great Eastern Railway D56 Claude Hamlinton, classified as D15 by the London and North Eastern Railway. Her build date was between 1903 and 1911. She was, her builders were at the GER Stratford Works and the designers were James Holden and Frederick V. Russell. She had a top speed of 90 miles per hour. I think they were like green for some reason, but to my they gave her the yellow paint. Paintwork. Probably to make her stand out more. And that face we'll get to in a moment. So my, I, I state that Molly was introduced in the Wooden Railway range in 2006. Wait, could this be correct? Let me check. She was brought to the Wooden Railway in 2006 and retired in 2012, six years later. A little bit of history about my model of Molly is that I got her in a store when I was on holiday in America back in 2012. I didn't just buy Molly from America, I also got the 2005 Bill and Ben, the original Old Style Duncan, and the New Style Breakdown Train. They were about, I would say, $20 each, I think. Not entirely sure, but I'm presuming the tender engines were like $20, I presume, but I'm not really too sure. But, um, anyway, moving on, let's talk about her model. So let's talk about her model now, shall we? So, this wasn't just the only Molly available. There was also a talking, talking railway mo Molly, with the only difference being is a gold magnet. Her chassis also has a unique arrangement to accommodate to her larger driving reels, which is quite like a bit of a design of the big city engine, although this would have been good to make a city of Truro if you can actually get one. It's fairly cheap or in bad shape or a knockoff. Whoa, watch out for those knockoffs. You better watch out for them. They're on eBay, so I don't recommend you pick them up. Let's look at the face as well. It's based on the promotional images where her actual face in the show is much smaller. There is, um, it, they are, her original model as a piece of trivia are now owned by Thomas Tank Merch on Twitter, indicating two that were never shown until public to now. There was like one of them actually featured a facial expression that was quite sad. I mean, it looks quite the, like the one that you see like on that promo promotional one time. And I want to talk about the tender quickly. About the model. Um, this is actually a separate bogey, much like the, um, I want to say it's Arthur's bones, and I don't have, I do have Arthur, but I don't really think so. I think these wheels look more like Trevor's, something like that. It does say 2003. Her name was printed on the second half of the jersey. Um, her tender. Looks like, like a baggage truck, I imagine. It says more like tender on the wall. But although these are white bars, so I don't know what they're called, I don't really remember this thing. Although, I will go far to say, Molly is a great character. She was one of the first new series characters I ever picked up. The one starting after Thomas and the Magic Railroad um, characters I ever picked up. Although there could be some detail I would like to see, some changes. I'd like to see some red painted on the buffer, which I would do that, actually. Her running board could be white. I mean, Learning Curve would have applied these details if they did have the money. Imagine, for instance, Molly, instead of being a 2 4 he, she could have been like a 4 4 if they made her body a bit longer. Imagine if they had the money to make her like 4 4 uh, complete perfection to her real life TV series, a uh, real television series, because um, 
it's really like interesting how the face, for instance, covers the whole smoke box. Because if you look at a Thomas model right here, that shows like the whole face covers the whole smoke box. But on the TV series Molly, it doesn't. Sh it just shows like a little black ring on the outside, which is quite surprising. Oh, and also I've added like two spokes because I wanted to actually like detail more her wheels a bit. I just want to try a bit of a Track NASA Productions 2016 method, but no avail. I really like how she stands out well. There is, she is quite gigantic, though. If you can tell the white Emily's over here, I mean, let's take a look for a moment to compare Emily and Molly's. Yeah, they, they look almost quite the same size. So, as for fans wanting to see her again, I'm one of those character people who wants to see Molly again. Although she does, however, make in dozens of magazine appearances, for instance, which I did have some at one point, but unfortunately, some of which I've been got rid of. Who cares? I know it's, um, I know things change. But anyways, moving on now. Um, I'm one of those people who want Molly to return. Like Duke, Boko, and um, Elizabeth, maybe a few others. They could bring back some of the pack, but with Big World, Big Adventures, it's an absolute nightmare. But we still got these fan made content stories out there. Just to like brighten our moves whenever we're down. So now to the final part of the model. I would rate this uh, wooden railway moddy a... I want to go for a 9 out of 10. Probably because of how she's detailed and searched and how she's got the large face that we never saw in the TV series but never used them. I mean, a tender could be a little bit longer but you know, I don't care. Don't care did a good job on her. All sides, I mean, the cold details are really smooth. But yeah, they, I like how they captured her giant wheels. I mean, without them, she'd look hideous. I mean, the, but the, take a look at the flying Scotsman, for instance, but I don't care. But, anyways, as I said before, I may not be the best of the t t reviewers of content and such and such, but I try my best to point out everything about her. Although one of her classes, um, although there, I heard a bit of a piece of trivia that uh, there are plans to build construct a replica of the D16 number two, number 8783, which is to be named Phoenix. Although it does share the same basis from the railway series book, Toby Trucks and Trouble, but I don't think Molly actually is featured in there. Although she is just painted green, but not just the Molly. And I think. That's literally all there is to say. I mean, last time she was ever seen was in The Great Discovery when she received news from Bill and Ben that Thomas was found and she attended the Sodal Day celebration. I wonder where she is now. Who knows? Maybe she might have left Sodor to go back to the mainland. I'd like to, but anyways, we don't know. That's a story for another day. I'd like to take the time to thank you all guys for watching. And thank you all for listening. Hope you haven't bored you free through anyway. So anyway, this is me, JB's 9F Emporium, signing off. Take care, guys. Well, that's done and dusted. Now, I think it's time I get back to work on something. Have you still got time for one more character? I thought you could review me. Is this some sort of another review? I've already done one already. Well, without begging, if you could try me someday, I'll be much happier. Look, I can't waste my time just doing two reviews a day. I mean, I've got life for everywhere I go. Oh, God! Go away, Hank. Just bugger off. Oh.